with marketing all of these ristras. So that's partly why I'm down here today wanting to completely understand how, what the process is, how they're made, and to uh, learn more about the people behind the, the product. So the pickers are choosing for quality, not for speed. They're not seeing how fast they can fill a bag. They're seeing whether their job is to fill the bag with the best quality red chilies that are out there in the field. Yeah, so these are examples of the, the straight, long, and plump that the ristra maker will sort for in the end. The, just these people right here are, are the ones that are responsible for making all of these ristras. They work at this all week. So if this year, which has been a really good year for drying ristras, really mild temperature, a little bit of breeze, a lot of dryness, and we can't change that natural process without losing the quality of the product. What we've managed to do, I think, with this Ristra deal that, that La Montanita and, and I have is uh, we've taken an old process and scaled it up to a higher volume with a, with a shipping system that means we can now go pretty much anywhere in the United States. And, and that, that, that is something very different than what's traditionally been done before. It's, so it's not anything new, it's just the way that we are doing it is, and, the, and how far we're shipping them is what's new about it. Yeah, so you're getting 20 pounds of fresh red chili in this ristra here. I think this ristra might end up uh, in Greenwich Village. Wow. It, some little cafe with on some fresh enchiladas you know you're going to see that bright red sauce and the uh, aroma of the chili i would think so isn't that lovely it's almost magical my arm's killing